.NET 2018 has seen over 800 delegates come to view our speakers, the keynotes, our invited guests from across the world and from Spain. One of them next to me is Carlos Milan, a fellow Trekkie, although we're not really allowed to say that in the Star Wars world, are we? But uh, you used to work for Plain Concepts. Absolutely. And now you're back here for .NET 2018. Tell me, how's it been? Well, I think it's been a marvelous event because I have the chance to uh, well, uh, to see again all my fellow colleagues uh, from the previous company. But also, I think it's a good point to see all the people who are interested in the .NET development technologies. That is always a value to share experience with them and what are the opinion and the new developments over the new technologies that are coming around, like the .NET Core, the containers, and uh, all this kind of stuff that is technology very relevant. Now, you're working for a competitor. I won't mention who. Are, are you spying for uh, them? I have no problem <laughs> mentioning the competitor, of course. I'm working right now for Avanade. Shh! <laughs> you can always uh, mass in the... Well, we, we can cut that out. <laughs> but, uh, yes, that's the problem because this is a very small world and we all share the very same kind of technologies that we usually work with our customer. And I think that's a big market uh, going around all of this. So, yes, of course, it's very, very nice to be here with all of you. So who are you looking forward to seeing today? Well, I was looking to know, uh, well, of course, the speaker, the, the, the speaker schedule was really a wet zone, uh, taking people here from uh, Microsoft Corporation. So it was very valuable to, to see uh, Scott Hunter uh, talking about the latest development that were presented in the, in the build, in the build conference. So it was a good chance uh, to know about that directly and to see uh, directly uh, the demos rather than just looking at video that an event that was happening in the in the US. So to have the chance to be here uh, and to take a look at the real things uh, happening and have the talk with all the people about what is coming in the news few months about the new trends of development. Yes, that's something that I was looking forward for sure. <laughs> what are you hoping to learn from the talks here today? Uh, excuse me? What are you hoping to learn from the talks today? Well, what I really am hoping to learn is uh, when we are, uh, let's see, uh, facing several challenges that we have with several development patterns and architecture with the new trends. Uh, for instance, when we are working with stateless models, then we are working with containers, uh, or, or, or we are integrating apps uh, in .NET Core with the uh, the, the, the things that are coming around, like faster development times, uh, compiling times, uh, the new uh, the new integration with summary forms. Uh, I, I want to see what is next to come. So, if you have that view of what is about to come, you have a clear of what will be your architectural roadmap for your customers and offer, uh, after all, all of this, our better solution for our customers. And that is important because you know what is coming next and then you can plan a roadmap for them. That's, that's it. Are, are you impressed with the new implementations for .NET uh, 2.1? Uh, yes, and most of them the speed. I am fairly impressed by the speed. They have been able to do quite a good work uh, reducing the compilation time uh, and usual the per uh, overall the performance of the of the application. And that is for me the most relevant one. And of course, there are another another features and another point. But for me, that was the most impressive, absolutely. Carlos Milan, thank you very much. It has been a pleasure. Thank you.